Carlos Gonzalez. Digging in and looking for more, Carlos Gonzalez. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. I love that pitch right there. You know he's geared up right there in this big situation. They looked for a ball and just let it fly, and he pulled the string on him, just spun him into the ground. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One left for Colorado, but they're on top two to nothing. Welcome back to Coors Field here in Denver. Rockies out on top in this one as we head to the seventh. But before we get started, let's get a look at the game summary through the first Maybe six innings of baseball. Man. Digging in Thanks, once man. again, Justin Justin's Turner. Turner. He'll start Turner. the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Therefore, it is Blackman, and he's now got running. it for the first down. The center fielder, Jock. Ready Peterson. once again, Jock Peterson. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And here's a fastball called for strike one. I've been so impressed how he's got ahead of hitters. He's been over 80% in the game right now. First pitch strike to hitters. When you do that, you're going to have good success. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Here's Corey Seager. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this Corey point. Seager. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so let's we'll see if he can spark one here. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. High in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it. And that retires the side. Dodgers down in order. They trail it here 2 to nothing. Seventh inning stretch. Riding in once again, Tony Walters. Yeah, we thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Yeah, I'm not sure, Maddie, but I think this lefty lefty matchup right here may have been enough to convince the manager to stay with him. So we'll see if it works out. On the ground up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So that's how they'll start out their half of the seventh inning. Here comes the Dodger manager making his way toward the mound. And it would appear that Scott Casimir has thrown his final pitch here this afternoon. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. But swing just got to try and straighten that one out. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Well hit but also well fouled into the seats and left. The 0 2 pitch and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That's just a great pitch both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs too. That's excellent pitching at the plate Jeff Hoffman. He's been great on the mound so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah Matt when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. 
Ready for another chance? Charlie Blackman. He's two for three thus far. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Oh, man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Ready with the 0-1. Runner goes for second. Pitch swung out. Not in time as he steals second. He picked a good pitch to run on at that time, and it really paid off. A changeup down in the zone is a really tough pitch for the guy behind the plate to catch and throw on, so he didn't stand much of a chance there. And that's through a base hit. Walters rounds the corner and is headed home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three-run lead. You always play the beat, that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. First offering on its way. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Here comes the 1-0. Runners on the move for second. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Two out with the man at first. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. And this is hit hard up the middle. On to Forsythe covering, and that ends the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the... Digging in to try it again. Franklin Gutierrez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and all. Well, they've really struggled here. Now, I know this is the first game of the road trip, but maybe they're not comfortable in the surroundings yet. But this offense has got to get it going. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. On the ground to third. Gloved by Arenado. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Hey, pretty simple way to start the eighth inning out. A ground ball, and he's five outs away from a no-no. Adrian Gonzalez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power hitter. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the cold strike. At the plate is Andre Ethier. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. We've been getting ahead in the count all game long. I think the key is they're working off his fastball. The 0-2 delivery. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1-2. and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't fighting. Very well could see it again here, though. And Ethier will hang around a little longer as that misses to make it 2-2 two and two now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Blackman is under it. And that's the third out. 1-2-3 go to Adam Liberatore. Is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Here's Nolan Arenado. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Oh, he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Boy, he is not seeing the ball at all. He's already got three strikeouts. If he strikes out here, that's when you start calling the eye doctor. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Peterson has a read on it. He's got it one away. The first baseman, number 12, Mark Reynolds. Striding in, Mark Reynolds. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Here it comes, 0 2. 
Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. It? That was a three-pitch strikeout. And Damn. with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Ethier going back on it, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And Desmond is in at third base. He's got a triple. And that's his first triple of the season. The way he exploded out of the box, you knew he was determined to get the third, and he made it happen. Carlos Gonzalez is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. That is power versus power. Here it is. Here's my best fastball. I'm going to get it up in the zone. I dare you to hit it. And this one gets away. A throw to the plate, and the recovery will be in time. He's out at the plate. And a costly decision to try for it there is all of it. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandon. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. In there, strike two. Now the 0-2 pitch. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. So digging in now, Logan Forsythe. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. A high fastball is in there. One out, nobody on. And he misses with it, one and one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. You know what, Matt, he's been getting most of the pitches. I know he's complaining a little bit on this one, but he's been getting most of the pitches today. He used to be feeling pretty good by himself. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. On the move is Gonzalez. And foul. His timing looks good right there, Matt. That's falling up after a fastball. He still was able to get a piece of that breaking ball. A swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Ready with another two strike offering. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Ready with another two strike offering. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long AB, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at bats early in the game. And this is fouled back and out of play. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. LeMahieu is there, and there are two men gone now. Uh -huh. The pitcher. Yasiel Puig will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. here. Number 66, Yasiel Puig. Back up the middle. Story picks it up. Throw in time. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited. I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Hey, when you basically take a game into your own hands and give your opposition absolutely no chance, you deserve all the credit in the world. His guys had to score for him, but he essentially was a one-man show out there. The final.